Hi guys, so just a uh, quick video today on the Logic Remote app for iPad and iPhone. Um, something I've only really come across fairly recently and didn't realise it could be used for Mainstage uh, as well as Logic Pro because it's you know built from the same sort of software and you've got all your plugins involved um, in Mainstage. A lot of those ones are stock plugins from Logic. So. Um, I'll just run you through how it works. It's very simple, uh, but I just thought I'd let you guys know if you hadn't come across it. So, obviously, I've got my main stage concert here. Uh, we're doing Gypsy at the moment, so that's what I've got open here. Not many patches going on, but it's not as important for this demo. So, there's my concert. If I go over to my iPad here and I open up the Logic Remote app, what it's going to do is connect itself uh, to this concert. Um, that's either over Wi-Fi or over USB, I think, uh, but I've just got it over Wi-Fi at the moment. Um, and it's fully responsive. It's all mapped up immediately. It all looks the same. Uh, you know, you've got your faders there, which should change on the iPad. It's going to change here. You've got, um, you know, your, your master output faders. You've got pans. You can change your pan. There's a mix there. You can change all your sends that you've got for reverbs and things. Um, solo tracks, mute tracks, all the stuff you can do within Mainstage, you can do on this. And it's a lot easier to have your iPad in front of you than it is to have you know, your laptop on your keyboard, next to your keyboard, and having to use your mouse. Uh, same sort of idea that I was talking about with the Touch OSC. It's a, just a simpler interface to use that's touch sensitive. Now, that's not the only thing. That you can do with this it's not just mixers and, and pans you can do pretty much anything else that you want so I've got a mixer there at the moment if I change to smart controls and keyboard view there we go we've got a keyboard that is fully responsive um, in the main stage concert that I can play on the iPad itself and you've got all your uh, if you ever use GarageBand for iPad it's that similar sort of thing you know, you've got um, you've got a similar sort of set up there. Um, so that's your keyboard set up. Uh, you can have the chord strips to play. Same sort of thing there. Um, what this is really going to be handy for though, I think, um, particularly for the show I'm doing at the moment where I don't have a fully patched show, I just have the patches I need that I'm then going to switch between. Uh, I have originally been switching them between them on these notes, so uh, these bottom three notes here are actually changing the patches themselves and switching between them as I press the, those bottom keys of the keyboard. Now where this might be handy now is going to this little icon here, this third one along, and you've got your patches. Tap into them and it will change them over um, in your concert. So that's really handy. You can go into this option here and change the patch you've actually already got set up. Uh, without touching the laptop at all, so it's really handy. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know about it if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's just a really nifty, clean, minimal uh, looking controller for main stage for your iPad or iPhone.